Hello everyone, this is Slidehand for you. Slidehand provides free video tutorials on C, C++ and data structures. To subscribe this channel, click on the subscribe button that appear at bottom right corner. Or you can visit my YouTube channel by typing www.youtube.com slash slidehand. Ok, let's back to our topic. Today in this video, we will learn how to read from a file. Since we are dealing with a file, we need to declare a file pointer. File star fp. Before read a file, you must open that file. So I am going to write here fp equal to fopen within parenthesis omit.txt and mode of opening is r. Because we want to read the file, so we need to open the file in reading mode. I have already created the file omit.txt on my desktop. Let's open that. It is an empty file. Now write something to this file. I am going to write here hello. Save it. Next we need to check the file is open successfully or not. The file pointer fp store the address that is written by the function fopen. If the file opening fails, the fopen function returns a null value. So I am going to check the condition if fp equal to equal to null. If fp equal to null, then I am going to write here printf unable to open the file and then new line. Else file open successfully and we read that file. To read the file, we will use fscanf function. fscanf function is similar to the scanf function. The only difference is scanf function is used to read input from keyboard, but fscanf function is used to read the input from file. Let's see the syntax of fscanf function. First write the function name that is fscanf. Within the parenthesis, first you have to specify the file pointer. Then format string which is similar to the format specifier that we use in printf or scanf function. And the last one is list of address of variables which is similar to the scanf function. Now we use here fscanf function to read the file. When we read something from a file, we need to store that somewhere. So I am going to create here a character type variable char info and the size is 20. Now back to the fscanf function. First we have to pass the file pointer that is fp. Then specify the format string. Here we want to read a string value so specify here percent %s. Then we have to specify the address of the variable so where we want to store the value. Here we create the variable info to store the value. So I am going to write here info. Next we print the value to the screen that we read from the file. So I am going to write here printf percent %s and here we refer info. The last thing that we need to do, we need to close the file. F close and here we need to pass the file pointer that is fp. Let's run the program. Compile and run. As you can see here it print hello. This is similar to that we have written to the file. Ok, now I am going to write here hello friends. Save it. I am going to run the program again. You can see here it print only hello. Because similar to the scanf function, fscanf function cannot read a space. So when fscanf function receives a space, it considers the end of the string. That's why it print only hello. We can overcome this problem by using fgetS function. Let's see the syntax of fgetS function. I am going to delete it. First write the function name that is fgetS. Then within parenthesis write the variable where you want to store the value or data that is read from the file. Next one is length. Length specifies the maximum number of characters read by this function fgetS from the file one at a time. And then we need to pass the file pointer. So let's see how to use fgetS function in program. Here we read all the data that are present in the file. 
that's why I'm going to use here a while loop while and within the parenthesis I'm going to use a function feof which indicates file end of file this feof function determine whether we reached at the end of the file and as a parameter we need to pass file pointer that is fp this function returns true when we reached at the end of the file else it returns 0 which indicates false in C but this while loop is run when this condition is true that's why we use here a not operator so what happened now when a character is encountered this feof function returns a 0 or false but for this not operator it becomes true, true and this while loop will execute and when we reached at the end of the file this feof function returns true but for this not operator it becomes false and the while loop will terminate it now inside this function I am going to use fgets function fgets first we have to specify the variables where you want to store the value that is info next we have to specify the characters that the function read one at a time I am going to write here 20 and then we need to specify the file pointer that is fp let's run the program now you can see here it print the whole string hello friends this is similar to the string that we have written in the file now in the file I am going to write this is slide hand save it let's run the program again now you can see here first it print hello friends then it print this is slide hand this is it this was about how to read from a file hope you understand if you have any doubt please comment on the video next tutorial we will learn how to write to a file thank you for watching subscribe to our channel for more videos these are some other videos of our channel to watch this video just click on it get in touch with us visit us on youtube at youtube.com slash slide hunt join us on facebook at facebook.com slash slide hunt follow us on twitter and google plus